it, pulling it, pulling it. <laughs> Guys, this is it. My moto vlogging tutorial setup. So grab what you need, grab your pen, grab your paper, grab your beer, grab whatever you need to take note of my setup and hopefully this helps you start a new venture, start recording your sick rides and just, you know, just start documenting all this stuff because it is so much fun. So this is it. This is a question that I got asked so many times. Where my camera is set up, how I do it, every every little bit, every bit of knowledge that I have on doing this stuff, I'm giving to you guys. So chill out, enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the other side. Yew! G'day guys, g'day guys. G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields, I'm Rob Hamilton. So nice to have you here today. It is a beautiful day. I'm gonna be answering one of the most sought out questions that have been asked on the gram since I started moto vlogging. Hey Rob, what's your camera set up? Where do you mount your action cam? Where do you put your mic? Where is your camera mounted? Is it chest mount or is it chin mount? Well today's a, uh, today's, today's gonna be that day that I answer all these questions and maybe just a, like a little bit more. And before we get started guys, please take the time to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more of these these videos weekly and also like this video if you took anything away from it anything that helps you please chuck a little thumbs up it's all greatly appreciated also I put up a story on my Instagram yesterday asking you guys if there's anything you'd like covered and I'll be answering those questions either throughout the video or at the end of the video so stay tuned till the end it's gonna be a grand time okay so first to answer the chest mount or chin mount question I do use a chin mount I do like the, the POV style so it's as if you're riding with me you're in my eyes and we're riding together with both just cruising along just enjoying the sunshine you can see where I'm turning you can see everything I'm looking at I can point over there you can see it and it's a good time the chest harness works fine it works fine if you're just starting out you can just pick one up for like I don't know 80 bucks or something like that strap it on it's a cheap alternative just buy the chest rig and then just stick the GoPro on there and go to town obviously it's not gonna pick up your voice too much you're gonna get a lot of wind noise and um, it's just the direct mount, it's fixed. So you're sitting here, you got the view, you're turning your head and it's still just looking straight. So you're not really getting that whole, mm, you know, POV sort of style. Plus, it's not really the most attractive thing to wear around. Can you see it? Can you see? Look, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a, <laughs> it's not my vibe. Imagine going to get lunch and it's like, oh, hey man, I'll just, uh, just get this on. You know, just got my chest rig on, just to, uh, you know, just. <laughs> this here is the rig I use mainly. The setup's for an MX style helmet. So you can see I've just got an adapter here. I'll link everything in the description, so don't, don't worry. I've got you back. Got the adapter, got a mic adapter, got the mic housing, the mic adapter's inside. And the good thing about this sort of style is, is that you don't need to glue anything on the helmet at all. It's just this one little mount here. I'll link it in the description. We'll talk more about it soon. Stick it on, you strap it up, you're good to go. If you don't want to use it, you just unbuckle it, chuck it in your bag. See you later. The other style I have is for your full face helmet. And this does require you to stick on a little adhesive guy on the side there. Just one arm, a couple of little thingies here and you sorted away you go off to the races okay so first I use the hero 7 the hero 8 now comes with a media mod so you can just snap it all in there and then you don't have to worry about mic adapters mic housings and it's all built in which is uh, it's fantastic I wish they came out on the hero 7s we need a microphone I'm rocking the purple panda purple panda has been maybe recommended amongst like 80% of moto vlogging tutorials so I went with it and I have I've not looked back this is like it's a cool mic I think the only the only thing I don't like about it is that it just has like a tiny little crackle and it's not on just my mic it's literally on everybody else's I hear so it is a it is a budget mic I guess it's like $30 US it comes with a dead cat it minimizes the wind noise for what I'm using it for I think it's a great little mic and you can it's even got a little clip so you can have it as a lapel Hey guys, something I forgot to mention, the Purple Panda 3.5mm jack is actually a TRRS jack, which means that it has three little black rings on it. And if you plug that straight into the GoPro adapter, it will not work at all. You'll have no audio. Do not do this. Remember this. Luckily, the guys at Purple Panda have your back and supply you with a little adapter that converts it from TRRS to TRS. And you'll see it goes from three little black rings down to two black rings and you just have to make sure that that connection is pushed in all the way otherwise you will not have audio and you'll just have a buzz take it from me it's happened to me a couple of times that's something you just need to know because 
oh, you don't want to get stuck with no audio when you come home and you think you've done everything all good and proper and you come home and you're sitting there and it's just buzzing. Buzzing audio is not good. Anyway, let's keep going. You'll need the mic adapter from GoPro. I've heard people have a lot of issues with these. I've never had an issue. For me, it's worked fine every single time, even with the automatic hit the record and bang, you're on the road recording. I've never had an issue. Some people just don't have any audio whatsoever. Can you stop recording me? Like, my camera keeps just stopping recording. Maximum time has been reached. Keep on recording. Don't stop. I use a mic housing for my mic adapter just because I don't like the whole idea of having Velcro on this and then Velcro on your helmet and taping everything down. You just got tape just going all over the place. So I bought this for like 12 bucks Australian. It's got a cold shoe mount. You just slot it in. You just slot it on in there. Bang. And then you get your GoPro and you just slide that on top and you plug this in the side and you're good to go. Now the only, obviously, with, with every single mic adapter, you do have the dust cover off, so make sure if you're gonna ride in the rain and everything, just get rid of this, put your dust cover back on, just so it's waterproof and you don't stuff up your GoPro. A big plus about this setup with this little housing here is that you do just get to keep the original housing of the GoPro, so there's no messing around there. So if you wanna stick ND filters on, which I'll get to talk about in another episode, you can just sit on there, it's not gonna get, you're not, you're not altering anything, it's all just good to go, plug and play, and uh, you know, you're, away you go. And also if you wanna be using your GoPro as your main vlogging camera as well. So when you're off your bike, you've taken your helmet off and you want to use this guy as your handheld guy, then the space here allows the microphone not to be in shot where it's, um, a lot of the other microphone adapters, they have them underneath with the cold shoe mount still on top of the GoPro and it's literally just dangling in shot all the time. And finally, it's this little MX style adapter for the chin part of your helmet. So this is like $12 off eBay. And it's just the, the coolest little thing. It's got rubber there to protect your awesome paintwork. And I've never had it ever just unclip on me. And it's just been sick. It's just a cool thing that you can just take off your helmet. You're not gonna have any issues. There's no mounting or gluing or any modifications necessary. You can just take it off and then you can just chuck it all in your bag along with your, all your little handles and all your little stuff. And this is, this is the bag that I use. I just, I just run around with one of these, even inside of it. I carry, because we all know how awesome the life of a GoPro battery is, I carry this little guy. And you can carry two batteries in there and then you can plug this up to a little, plug this up to a little power supply. Have it in your bag, have it all charging each other because you don't want to be left high and dry. You don't want to be out on an awesome ride, awesome shoot. You're talking, you're talking and then you just hear it just go beep, beep, beep. Do the nine death beeps and then you, and then your GoPro is turned off and you, you're done. You just, you just left there just, just riding home in silence. You don't have any extra battery. I don't know about the ideas of like taking a battery pack and sticking it on your helmet and having other cables and everything like that. I'm not really into that idea. I think it's just easier just carrying a little bag, having all your little accessories and everything in your bag, charge all your stuff up on the fly and you're, you're good to go. You're good to go for a long time. I'm also rocking the 128 gigabyte memory card in here. I've never filled it up all the way on one single shoot. And I do shooting 4K on my GoPro all the time. Now for the closed face helmet, everything's exactly the same apart from the mount, which is that little guy here. And that's just one of the one of the standard GoPro mounts with the curved adhesive. Stick it there. I just bought a longer extension arm and that'll help you just bring the, the GoPro around the side and just mount it in front of your mouth. And then you just need some like, extra little adapters and all that. You better off just buying one of those kits that just have all the cheap parts in there because they still work the same as everything else. That's what I did. And you just got like, you got a lot to work with then. You got a lot of got a lot of things. This, however, had to buy this separately. It wasn't included in any sort of kit, but it was still just like $6 posted. So go crazy. That's your parts list done. You're done. Let's move on to how to mount all this crap together in the helmet so it's nice and tidy and all minimal and looking like Look like a mean mofo. All right, how the hell am I gonna film this? Top down. I think top down on this delicious table. Like this. Oh, you can just do it like that. Maybe. Alrighty, here we go. Here we are, top down styles. That other weird angle wasn't working for me. So this is how we're going to be rolling. This is my Premier helmet, my MX helmet. That was a mount that I had when I was just trying to work all this stuff out and now it's stuck there forever. <laughs> 
Nice one, Rob. All right, so first thing is first, let's get this mic in here. Now, I the, the thing you wanna do is minimize wind as much as possible. So I gaffed up the little vents here, just so you wouldn't just have like, just smash it into the mic. We're just gonna be putting it behind one of these one of these cheeks here. So because the, the mic adapter, once it's mounted up, it's got the it's got the hole on the side here, so we want the lead to sort of pop out from here and go straight into there. So we're gonna mount the mic on the right cheek or just behind the right cheek. And this is a little bit fiddly. You might have to muck around a little bit trying to get it all in there nice. Basically, the mic itself is very small, so it's okay to squish it up a little bit. The dead cat's there to protect it as well. So I'm just gonna try to squeeze it in there. And then you have all this excess wire here as well. So you wanna try to hide that in your cheek pad without making yourself feel uncomfortable while riding. Sometimes this is falling through the little ear hole part in there and it's just tickling my ear. <laughs> so I'm tickle, 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 tickle. So get that in there sort of as much as possible. As neat as you can get it. Try to keep all the wiring just all tucked under and away. Okay, so that's in there. It's all nice and snug. Got this little fluffy thing there. I just like to keep a little bit of fluff out just so, you know, I don't know actually. I just like doing it. Okay, so the mic is in. That's it, that's literally installed. Happy days, it's not gonna tickle my ear. You can see in there. Just like that, it will pick up enough of my voice. It's not gonna sound too muffled or anything like that. It's not gonna, there's not much wind's gonna be hitting it. So it's, it's well protected. The uh, the gaff's gonna do a good job in there, holding it all back. So we're, we're happy days right now. So then I'm just gonna run the lead up through the side here. Now I've got like this little plastic part here that you can sort of like bend back and move around a little bit. So I'm gonna just tuck the lead in under there and it's sort of roughly gonna sit about like that-ish. Just leave it dangling out so you got some length there. This is pretty annoying having the adapter just here. For me, for this, it's like if it was just a little bit longer, I could just have it sitting behind there a bit. Or if it was heaps shorter, it'd just be like right behind here. That'd be perfect. But right where it is, it's heaps annoying because it's not long enough. Then when it's out, it's too long. Anyway, okay, so that's there. That's that. That's nice. Now you get your, your little MX boy, MX mounting boy. You sort of roughly position it. Now, it doesn't come with these elastic bands. These elastic bands were literally used to tie up veggies. <laughs> so I just grabbed them just because you have, and I'm not gonna take it out just because it's a little bit of a pain to get back in there again. But they're, they're pretty long, they're just the adjusters, but there's nothing to really secure them when you're riding. So they're just flapping and tickling tickling your neck or your, under your chin there. It's really distracting and weird. I just did that, it's got elastic bands. I, I will change the color because you know. Oh nice no, stuff, I'm gonna leave it. So yeah, just, you know, bang, just mount it there, wherever you think, and just from behind, you're gonna just clip them little things together. I don't think I'm gonna be able to really show you. And then before you do one of the sides up, and I've only just started doing this recently, I have that just sort of, I want it to be in, tucked in and around, I think. <laughs> no, I definitely do. So that sort of just holds it. So it pops up and around, little clip. And that's, like strangely enough, these hold so well. They're really tired, they're really stable. And I'll show you around on the inside there. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so check that out. Good times. Alrighty, so that's mounted. Mic's already installed. And you just grab your GoPro with the adapter already on it. Do this bad boy. Now with this, so everyone's riding style is different depending on what bike you ride. For me, this is fine, having it up like that, like dead straight. I probably just kick it down just a tiny little smidge just to get a bit more of the, the tank in there and everything. But other than that, it's that's perfect for me. Now, if you're leaning way more forward, then you're gonna want it to kick back some more. So maybe sticking a little, another little spacer in there like that and having it coming out so it can tip back a little bit more. I'll show you what I mean on the um, on the full face helmet. But yeah, so straight up's perfect for me and you wanna get the angle right because if you don't get it right, you're not gonna be a happy boy or girl. And then dush, plug that little guy in there. And that's that's pretty much it. This is how I've been using it for now. Just because of this adapter thing, I actually thought it would get in my way a lot more. So I have my, I have my goggles on like this. This is how I roll. And yeah, I don't know why, like you'd think that this would be getting in the way of flapping around heaps more, but it actually doesn't. So I've been rolling like that and just like, just say I need to do a battery change, it actually gives me enough length still to pull it down or pull this off, pull everything out and I can do everything without actually taking the whole thing off. I can do this with the helmet on. I've got it down, changing the battery, doing a battery swap in like 30 seconds flat. So yeah, so that is, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the MX style and you, you're done. 
have your days, you're on the road and you're moto vlogging like an absolute lord. All right, now for the for the full face. Okay, so now here is my Quinn Design Smart Helmet. It's an absolute mofo. This is a great helmet to moto vlog with because it is all sealed up nicely, unlike the MX. No goggles, got this nice visor that's super tight on the inside. I've got this that protects wind and just, you know, it's a good, good helmet, a good solid helmet this. I use this for my long rides just because it's um, it just cuts through, it cuts through the wind. It's super comfy, it has Bluetooth everything, can control my music and my phone calls and got crash detection technology in it. It's great, great helmet. Look at that, look at that. Oh. All carbon, race spec, heaps of light. Anyway, this is my full face GoPro setup. So first I just, I got the curved guy and I made sure to measure everything out. I did make a mistake here though and I'll show you the mistake I made when I did this, but it's an easy fix, easy enough fix. Yeah, you gotta be really careful when choosing a spot to put your put your GoPro mount, only because of the obvious reason is like once you stick it down, it's pretty hard to get back off without destroying your helmet. So make sure you measure everything up nicely and you're happy with it. And the way to do that is, which I didn't do, is when you get your GoPro, you wanna make sure that the lens is in the middle of the helmet and that the GoPro isn't so much in the middle. It's not about the GoPro being in the middle, it's about the, the lens being in the middle. Because otherwise everything's gonna look off-center, which mine <laughs> mine does a little bit. But mine's, mine sits about here, where I'd really want it to be about there. So that's just like a tiny little nitpicky type thing, you know? Just something to be mindful of though. I don't want you guys to make the same mistake I did. Uh, but I'll show, you, I'll show you the vibe anyway. It's your normal mount, just slide him in, clipped in, clipped on, happy days, everyone's laughing. All right, there's your big arm boy. I've got a couple of little links here, just little right angles, so that's gonna slide onto the arm, your big arm, just like that. I like these little short little bolts. These are like all the aftermarket parts. They actually look a bit tidier than the GoPro ones, in my opinion. That's pretty much there. You can sort of swing that around, do it all loosely, so you can sort of move everything around nicely. And then the GoPro goes on just like that. So that's how it sits. And the mistake I made is that you can see it just so slightly. That's the lens there and the middle of my helmet is there. So it just needed to be just that tiny, probably just that tiny little, little bit more that way. But I can just get a longer little adapter here and fix it up and just move it across. But that's one thing that you just gotta make sure of is that the, the actual lens itself is in the middle of your helmet so you can get that nice dead center. <laughs> That nice line there. That's pretty much there. That's pretty much how I roll with it. Again, if you need more space, and this is what I was meaning. So if you're leaning heaps far forward, then you want it to be kicked back like that because your head's gonna be tilting down, if that makes sense. So you wanna leave a bit of space between the helmet and the GoPro so you can just knock it back a little bit. And same vibe with the adapter. Slide it on, connect it up, that's in. And then you gotta do the same thing with your microphone. You gotta stick it in behind the cheek pad there and then run it up. And this is where I usually use a little bit of gaff. It's not, it's not a permanent thing just because I don't have two of the mics, which I should, I should just get another one. And I just run the, I end up running the cable here, I'll end up showing you. And then I just lay a little bit of gaff right across there like that. And it just holds the, the tape in place. Nicely. I'll show you. I'll get it in there. I'll get the mic in there. Okay, so again, the mic's just gonna go in behind the cheek pad there. Okay, we got there. So there it is. Just sticking out there a little bit. And this this helmet, like I said, is really good. Closed face helmets really work really well. You close all your vents off to minimize all the wind, all the wind noise. You just don't want wind noise. That's the whole thing is just trying to minimize the damn wind noise. Still has like all its all its freedom of movement there. It's all sort of good to go. Tighten your stuff up. And booyah, that is pretty much it. There's not that much more to it. It's just make that wiring tidy as much as you can. Hold it down. That's what I mean. See how much of a pain that little adapter is. If that was just a bit longer down here or something, it'd be perfect. But uh, well, beggars can't be choosers. I guess I could just buy a new one and you know go go for gold. But it looks sick. Eh? Whew, that was a mouthful. How did you go guys? Or well, how did I go? Hopefully I didn't confuse her. Hopefully I didn't bombard you with so much information that you're just like, no, I'm tapping. I'm tapping out, I'm tapping out. This is, I'm out, I'm out. Hopefully I inspired you instead and that, you know, maybe after this quarantine, you'll head out there, you'll have everything prepared and you'll start just smashing out some awesome content for yourself, for your family, show, show your friends what you're up to. So right now I can hear some of you saying, but Rob, what about the what about the settings? What about the setting? What about the grading? How do you get the how do you get the photos from the footage 
How did you do all that? Don't worry guys, I got your back. This is like a Thursday. This is gonna be a Thursday tutorial sort of vibe going. Next week, I'm gonna either show you guys how I grade or how I import the photos and edit everything just off my phone. I haven't yet decided, we will get there. But I will show you everything I know, how to import everything off your phone and just be able to just post and on Instagram, where you go, the format I use, the grading I use, and then also how to organize import, process, grade, and export your footage from Premiere Pro, which is what I use. Plus, all the settings I use on GoPro, why I use the settings, and everything, so you're not gonna be left in the dark, I've got you. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of this information that I'm throwing your way. Now, for these questions, I was asked by you guys on Instagram when I posted my story asking if there are any questions that you guys had. This is for you. Some questions were relevant, but some weren't relevant right now, but it did give me some sort of insight of to what I should be shooting in the future. So I will have you covered on all the, the product gear stuff, but let's just start from the start and I'll read out the questions. I'll smash out the answers as quick as I can. Case and Connell, how do you get the clips cut into pictures so well? That'll all be revealed in a future vlog, maybe next week or the week after. Live in fear. And one Ray O with a zero. How do you attach it to the Quinn? Got you covered, mate. Got you covered. Mark Hauer, send me the links to buy the microphone setup, please. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Boof! Check out the description. They're all there, bro. Got you covered. Push Penner, helmet mounting and mic setup. Got you covered. What's the settings you have on the GoPro Hero 7 for, you to, for your shots? That'll also be covered in a future, within the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned, live in fear. Stay tuned, live in fear. Sorry, need to ask the helmet with the camera, which one is awesome looking, need one like it. Uh, which one, is it this one? Oh, this, so this is the Quinn design and that is the Premier helmet. They're both awesome. I both love them for individual reasons. Um, so hopefully, you know, Premier, Quinn design. Carl03, what helmet to get as a beginner? Get an expensive one. Single cylinder, boots and jackets. That's a whole nother product review. I'll get to that for sure. What do you think about the stainless exhaust and the performance of the bike with? Well, I was going to do an awesome, just exhaust focused video. Just, man, just carving it up through the dirt on the road, all this. And that was probably like three days before we told we were told we can't ride anymore. So I've been hanging to do that vlog and I will cover everything then. So you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait till this is chilled out a little bit and I'll, and I'll do it. I'm excited for it, I've been hanging. Ugh. What is the best helmet in your opinion? Comfort, safety, and style. Mr. Black Owl. I've been stoked with the Premier. I can wear the Premier helmet for hours. Absolute hours. It's really light, it's comfy, the leather inside's awesome. I've had that for a year and a half and it just hasn't missed a beat. It's got a little bit of wear and tear. It's molded to my head now, which is really nice. But guess the safety is really good. I haven't really looked much into the safety of the helmet. Um, same as the Quinn. The Quinn's really comfy. They're both equally the same for me. The same sort of vibe. The Quinn obviously has more tech in it. It has crash detection technology. I will do a review on the Quinn again very soon because I've had it for six months now and it's, I think it's about time that I'll just give you my little bit of two cents about how I feel about the Quinn design. James Clark, price on the setup. The price for everything listed, excluding the GoPro, is $157.50 Australian. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap considering. It's a mic, they are all your holders and everything, your leads, your adapter, your adapter housing, your arms. It's a, it's, you know, it's a bit of bang for your buck. And then the, the GoPro for me costs 600 bucks. They've gone down now, the Hero 7s, because the Hero 8 is out. And if you get the Hero 8, like I said, it has all that casing and stuff like that. So you can just do away with everything apart from the mount and the mic and you're, you're good to go. Joe Caldwell, let's see what all the helmets look like. All right, let's do this. Let's do a little, it's my Premier helmet with my Roland Sands Design Barstows. This is my girlfriend Romina's Premier helmet also. Got the for her birthday. This is my built well lane splitter that I barely ever use. I find it's just a bit too heavy compared to this and the Quinn design. So I don't really wear this um, and I look like a bit of a stormtrooper. I'm thinking of just like maybe getting like airbrushed or something, get something cool on it, something, I don't know. This was my second helmet ever. This was awesome. This is when I was on my Cafe Racer sort of styles. It was sick. It's the bell open face with a bit well chrome bubble shield. It's the love those styles. And this is the Predator helmet. I'm yet to do a shoot on this. The guys from Predator Collective sent it over to me. Look at this. Predator fans, are you kidding me? How good does that look? I cannot wait to do a shoot. 
All right, guys, that is it from me here in my room. And bang, there you go. You, there you have it. You are on your, you're well on your way to moto vlogging, doing your own thing, doing what I'm doing right now. It is so much fun. I urge you guys to get out, get on your bike, set your GoPro up, do whatever you need to do to get, get out there and get filming because it's so much fun to do. Check out my Instagram if you haven't already. Moto underscore feels with a Z. Get out there. I'm keen to see your footage, guys. Keen to see it. All right, you take care. I'm gonna just ride around for a little bit more, I think, because um, it has been a while. It has been a long while. Look at this, no one's out. This is, it's, it's all, it's all mine. This is all mine. I can wave my hands around like an idiot. I'm so excited. Ah, damn. Oh, it's green. Let's go. See you, legends. Take care. Ha <laughs> ha